And in the Taylor kitchen this morning, we're making a Dutch baby. Have you ever had a Dutch baby, honey? I have not. It's kind of like if you were going to make pancakes for like eight people, mm -hmm. you're just going to do it in one big skillet. Oh. But the Dutch baby is different that it gets super high and puffy. It's just glorious. And we're going to start by mixing in our blender. I've got three-fourths cup of regular all-purpose flour, and you're going to add to oh. that three-fourths cup of milk. This is coconut milk. You can use regular milk if you want, but I typically like to go dairy-free. And then Tim's going to give that a quick blitz before we add in the rest of our ingredients. That's pretty good. Now I'm cracking three eggs, and I'm going to add those into our mix, along with a pinch of salt. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I always crack them into a bowl in case I get shell. We don't want shell in our Dutch right. baby. Vanilla paste. I love vanilla paste, but you can use regular vanilla if you want to. And just a little pinch of salt. All right, and then honey, on here we have a hot skillet. I melted three tablespoons of butter in the skillet that I'm going to make the Dutch baby in, and that's because it also helps to coat the skillet. And that's going to get right in. And this is going to give it a beautiful rise along with those eggs. All right, so that's ready to go. And then we're gonna blitz it again to make sure everything is really well combined before we pour it back into our skillet. Good? Looks good to me. Okay. We got all the lumps out of there and everything super well incorporated, pouring it into this nice warm skillet, which is also going to give us a head start. I have my oven on 400. And this Dutch baby, I'm going to get every little last bit out of there, babe. Yeah, I don't want to miss any of it. It's going to take about 20 minutes in my 400 degree oven. So we'll see you in 20 minutes. All right, this is out of the oven. It puffed up, and then I had to take some pictures. So while I did that, then it shrunk, but just exactly supposed to do that. And you can take it out of the skillet and serve it like that, or you can leave it in the skillet. I kind of like it. It looks rustic this way. Then I'm going to just sprinkle it with powdered sugar. This is the spur variety, just FYI, oh, okay. and there's no sugar in this. You just have the, the flour, of course, but that looks gorgeous. And then, this is my special blueberry mm. cardamom compote. It's just a cup of blueberries, two tablespoons of maple syrup, and a quarter teaspoon of cardamom that I cooked down. Nice. Let me cut you a slice and then we'll pour the blueberry compote okay. over top. Now the great thing about this is because it serves a few, and you can make a couple skillets of these, you can serve this with all kinds of different accompaniments, like whipped cream, lemon zest over this would be delicious, um, maple syrup, butter, whatever you want. So here comes your portion. Nice. And we'll give you a little scoop of this. Blueberry so cardamom compote over top. Got more? Yeah, a little more. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Good? All right. All right, give this Dutch baby a try and oh, let well. me know what you think. It this smells, is called what now? Dutch? It's a Dutch baby. Dutch baby. Dutch baby. I like your Dutch Big puppy pancake. Mm-hmm. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. All right, it gets a thumbs up from Mr. Taylor. So check out the recipe. It's on taylorkitchen.net. We'll see you there. All right.